Welcome to part 2 of my top 15 morals and MLP video series. Be sure to check the description for a link to part 1 in case you missed out. And for everyone else, let us continue on with what, in my opinion, are the best lessons that My Little Pony has to offer. But I'm glad I realized that even if you're fighting for something good, you're still responsible for your actions. And if something bad happens that you didn't intend, you shouldn't give up hope or lose faith in yourself. Yeah, all you gotta do is make it right. It is one thing to stand for what you believe in, to make your voice heard for a noble cause, but something else to be also willing to make sacrifices for that belief, to make up for any negative side effects that may arise, whether intentional or not. At times, I do wish that Daring Dunn could have explored this aspect a bit further, but the core of the lesson is still intriguing. Holding on to faith in the midst of others trying to shout you down, and yet still finding the courage to do better in the future. It's a good bit of perspective. You know, it's kind of weird. No matter how many times others tell you you're great, all the praise in the world means nothing if you don't feel it inside. Sometimes, to feel good about yourself, you gotta let go of the past. That way, when the time comes to let your greatness fly, you'll be able to light up the whole sky. Similar to Hurricane Fluttershy, this is another conflict that begins with a character unable to cope under pressure. But in this case, when Spike is able to step up and save everyone when it mattered most, it wasn't enough to dismiss his own insecurities. How many of us have felt completely incapable of letting go of our past mistakes, running them through our minds over and over again until we start seeing ourselves as less than worthwhile? I have to admit, it seems that Spike tends to get some of the most effective lessons in the entire series, or at the very least, the sort of moments which reach out and tug at your heartstrings simply because you know exactly what he's going through. And it's really powerful going back to watch Equestria games and still having that moment stick out in your mind long after you've given the episode another watch. This party can't make up for the way I hurt you. But please, don't let my mistake be the reason you can't be friends with any pony else. It is a fact of life that we cannot see all ends. We may try to have the best of intentions, but there will be moments when we are ignorant, insensitive, or just plain clueless to others' feelings. But the lesson of amending fences has much more to do with Moondancer and being willing to give friendship another chance. We are going to put our best foot forward, put ourselves out there in uncomfortable situations, hoping for worthwhile results. But when we have our hearts broken, feeling as though life has treated us less than fair, and despairing over the very idea of why we ever thought about taking that risk in the first place, I hope each of us will remember even in our saddest moments, we cannot and should not let rejection define us. We learn. We grow. We accept the negative experience in order to work towards a more positive future. And I'm glad to see that both Twilight and Moondancer learn so much by taking risks in this episode. Today I learned how important it is to be honest with your friends when they're doing something that you don't think is right. A true friend knows that you're speaking up because you care about them. This is certainly one of the harder lessons to implement in real life. 
watching a friend or family member doing something that you can't help but feel is wrong, and yet wanting to believe that they know what's best for themselves. You worry that saying anything about it might drive them away. You may want to help and yet not really know how. It's quite the eye-opener watching how Spike keeps justifying to himself that Rarity's obsession isn't really as bad as it seems, and seeing just how much courage he needs to build up just to confront Rarity about her problem, which Spike himself introduced her to. It's a really difficult lesson for Spike here, and one that I really have to respect. I love the daring do that solves puzzles and uses her brain to get out of tough situations, and she did way more of that in the original trilogy. You love the daring do that is brave and awesome and comes out on top no matter what the odds. Okay. And that's okay. I guess we don't have to agree on everything to get along. It was quite the surprise to see My Little Pony delving into the subject of fandoms, and even more so how easily divided fans can be on what they feel most passionate about. And being someone who enjoys discussing some of the more intricate details of a show about pastel-colored ponies, this particular episode really got to me. But even putting that aspect aside, the very idea that two people can so deeply disagree on a subject that they both feel so passionate about, and yet still be friendly towards each other, it's the kind of lesson that seems so relevant today. Especially when it's so commonplace to see people so divided and hateful over pretty much any issue online. We don't have to agree on everything to get along. Finding you and learning all about Mom and Dad, I feel like I've found a piece of me I didn't even know was missing. Hearing their story makes me feel closer to them somehow. I'm sorry. I should have told you all about them sooner. And I should have been here. I can't believe I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Oh, goodness, this episode still gets to me. A pony who had become so bitter over a rivalry that he was even willing to disown his daughter just because he couldn't let go of that anger. So many tragic stories of people both fictional and very real who end up realizing far too late in life of how much they've missed out on what is really most important. But it is reassuring to know that you can always choose to go back. It reminds me of a quote from the movie Coco. Family comes first. I hope this is the kind of tragedy we can avoid in our own lives by taking this very important lesson to heart early on. But flying is what Pegasus ponies are supposed to do. You flew when you carried the flag in the games. But that was me. You're you. And it just doesn't matter if you can fly or not. Your routine was amazing because it represented exactly what makes Ponyville special. But Rainbow Dash, what if... what if my wings never grow? What if I never fly? Listen, Scootaloo, maybe you'll fly someday, or maybe you won't. You're all kinds of awesome anyway. Much like with Hurricane Fluttershy... Sometimes you can feel like what you have to offer is too little to make a difference. But when that happens to be the one thing you've wanted more than anything else your entire life, it can be absolutely crushing when you put in everything you have and you start to realize that it just won't be enough. It may never be enough. 
I stand by my belief that this is the most powerful lesson that MLP has ever taught. Not just with its message, but especially with how it is presented. I don't know whether there has ever been a moment in any other episode where there has been so much heartfelt emotion conveyed so effectively in so short a time. I challenge each of you to watch this scene again and just try to tell me that your heart doesn't go out to Scootaloo here. Even more than four years after I first watched this episode, it still gets to me so deeply. How we must learn to strive onwards, even without our greatest dreams. I hope everyone watching today will take a few moments and ponder these wonderful messages that MLP has given us over the years, and perhaps even respond with a list of their own in the comments below. As I've said before, these kinds of videos really can't keep from having at least a little bias in them, as some stories and character moments will tend to hit some people harder than others. But I know that I've thoroughly appreciated the kind words and uplifting morals that MLP has shown. And I hope to see even more in the coming days. Until then, as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.